My name is Alma O'Donoghue and I'm one of the painting conservators at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. I'm treating a beautiful painting by the artist Piet Mondrian. And this painting has been on view in our galleries um, for quite a long time, but it has several problems that I'm going to address. One of the issues with paintings by this artist, Mondrian, is that he uses very, very thick paint layers in areas of his canvases and in others, very thin paint layers. Because the paint layers are thick and quite brittle, and the support that they're painted on, which is canvas, is quite flexible, over the years, these paintings have developed very serious cracking issues. So each day during this treatment, I will remove weights that were put on the day before. Once I've removed all the weights, I'm able to lift up the edge of the painting. On the back of the painting, there are several plates. These plates have a sheet of Evalon on them. This Evalon is used to absorb moisture from the treatment. So once I've removed the plates from the reverse of the canvas, I go over the canvas with a strong flashlight. This allows me to see distortions that are caused by the cracks that are on the face of the painting. These distortions I then moisturize with some distilled water, which I, I apply with a brush. So after about five minutes or so, I'm ready to start. And the first thing that I do is apply a little bit of ethanol to the crack with a brush. The ethanol acts as a surface uh, tension breaker and it also helps the adhesive, which I'm going to use next, get absorbed through the crack. Now I go over the cracks with a fine uh, paintbrush, very fine, and I apply the Isenglass when it's warmed. Isenglass is a fish glue. It's used in conservation a lot because it's quite strong, can be used in very low percentage concentrations and yet be very effective. It's very, very thin glue. It gets wicked in through the top of the crack and it slightly coats the inside edges of each side of the crack. So now you've got an adhesive on each edge of the crack, which when you apply heat and pressure will hopefully stick together again.
So the next thing we do is get um, a little patch of Avalon, which is this absorbent um, fabric that I've been using in many parts of this treatment. And I apply the edges of the Avalon to, along the crack. And I'm basically allowing the Avalon to absorb any residual wet glue. And then just to be sure I've got it all off the paint, I slightly moisten the Avalon with um, a little warmed distilled water and then just very carefully wipe the paint in this area. What we need to do next is set the cracks down. I found that this can be achieved with a hairdryer on low heat. So I sort of, I, I use the hair dryer and I don't keep it in one spot because I could, it could get too hot, but I move it over the area where the cracks are. And then at the same time that it's beginning to heat up, I apply gentle pressure with my fingertips. And as I go along and I flatten each part of the crack, I will put down a little bit of Holitex tissue and a small piece of foam core and then a weight to keep it in place as I move along that crack and continue to set the crack down. Knowing when to stop applying too much pressure. It was challenging because as I said, too much pressure with your fingertips or with anything will cause cracking. It was sort of a technique that the more I did, the more successful I was. You have to kind of balance that fear with the confidence that the technique is working.